Okay. So you all see my screen, is that correct? Yes, yes. teacher. Great. So more yes. than Zed. This is Zed's voice. I can recognize it. Anyway, uh, today we're having just a little bit like a brief grammar revision. I thought that we should go through it because every year we go through these tenses and you still sometimes somehow forget, let's say, the structure of each tense. So we're just going to go through it quickly today and tomorrow. Uh, today we'll be discussing the simple past, or the, uh, past simple, and the simple present. So let's start, wait, let me take this away. Let's start with the past simple. I need someone to read uh, the uses of the simple past for us. Good, 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 good people. Uh, Jad, can you do it, please? Okay, past simple. When, when do we use the, the simple past? The simple past to express the idea that an action started and, and finished at a specific time. I'm in the past. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Nada, can you continue? Yeah. What are some common time expressions used with past tense? What are they? In 1980, yesterday, last year, ago, uh, last, last week, month. last month. Good. So the word last and then month, week, year, um whatever and then we have years in 1980 and 2020 we had COVID-19 uh the word yesterday the word ago a year ago a month ago uh however now uh there are certain forms for the simple past tense uh there are of course regular verbs and irregular verbs what's the difference between regular verbs and irregular verbs in the past tense I don't want anyone to read. I want you to tell me the difference. Martez, what's the difference between regular verbs and irregular verbs? Irregular verbs are verbs that end with ed. Or okay, so we don't D. change the structure of, or we don't change the spelling of it. We just add ed to it, right? Right. Okay, the irregular. And the irregular, we uh, change the structure. We change the structure, we change the, uh, the, the spelling. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Right. There are other irregular verbs that we don't change the structure to, but what happens to them? Uh, Dima, do you know? No, Masa? Masa? Yes, teacher? We have regular verbs that we only add ed to, and we have irregular verbs that we change the spelling for. There are other irregular verbs that are special. Do you know how, uh, in what way, how they're special? Um, that um, the words that, that don't have ed. Okay, and what else? And... Right. Stop here. Let me uh, go through this slide first, then I'll tell you what I'm talking about. So who can okay. read this slide for us? Uh, Someone who, Maya, Maya, can you read this for us? Yes. Go ahead. English has two types of verbs in the past tense, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Look at the following list of past tense, tense verbs. Which verbs are regular and which are irregular? Thank you very much. Judy, can you choose from these verbs, the irregular verbs? Yes. Okay. Taught. Taught. Became, became, did, did, and gave. I said gave. I oh, said gave. I did not hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, so I need someone else to tell us what are the regular verbs. Hamad Mansour, what are the regular verbs here? Yes, uh, the regular verbs. Yeah. Okay. Walked. Okay. Studied. Studied. Cried and lived. lived and lived. Thank you. That's it. Type the third, uh, let's say, special type of verbs are these. Who can read the slide for us? Uh, Amir, Bakker, Miro, Miro, Mama, can you read the slide yeah. for us? And some irregular verbs don't change at all. Hit, hit, put, yes. put, sit, sit. And what else, Amir? Come on. Can you mention one? Another one? 
Cut, cut. Yeah, there you go. So we have regular verbs that we don't change anything. We just add ed. We have irregular verbs that we change the structure or the, the spelling of the word. And we have other irregular verbs that we don't change anything, uh, whether in uh, the present or in the past, like put, cut, sit, and hit. Miro, read the example for us, please. The children sit the table every Sunday. Yeah. The children sit the table last night. So in the first one, it's a present uh, tense sentence. And the second one is a past tense sentence. Yet the verb sit stays, remains the same. Type. Let's go to the questions. Who would like to do the first blank? Only the first uh, blank. Zaina Abu Har, do the first blank for us. Last year. Last year, I uh, spent my holiday in Ireland. Uh, can you spell the past tense? Spent. 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 So S-P-E-N-T, right? Spent. Yes. Let me write it for you guys. Spent my holiday in Ireland. Thank you. The, for the second blank. The second blank, Zed Qreya. It. Zed Qreya. When was it? Okay, the mic is not working. طيب, let's take Zen Yunus. Zen Yunus, the first, uh, the second blank. It be great. It was great. Yes, it was great. I, ya, Rayan. I what? Rayan. I traveled around the city by car with two friends. With two friends. And we, yeah, someone who did not answer, Mira Hamid. And we? And we visited lots of interesting places. Thank you. We visited lots of interesting places. Thank you. Who can proceed? Malak Abu Bakr, can you proceed, please? In the, uh, in the evening, we usually went to a cafe. Thank you. We usually went to a cafe. Continue, yeah. Continue, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Khalid Matar. We. Khalid Matar. We were very lucky with the weather. We were very lucky with the weather. Good, Dima, continue. It didn't rain a lot. Yes, it didn't rain a lot. We, ya Jad Hamza. Uh, we saw so, some beautiful rainbows. We saw some beautiful rainbows. Uh, yeah, Jenna and Rand, one of you answer. I had an amazing holiday. Uh, so Rand answered, I had an amazing holiday. But Jenna, Jenna, can you please point out where are the irregular verbs in here? Um, there's spent. Spent. Um, saw. Saw. Had. Had. Okay. Um, went. Went. Hello. Were. <laughs> were and was, of course. It's verb to be. It yeah, were and was. Yes. Type. Uh, where are the regular verbs? Yeah. Mariam Khater. Traveled. Traveled and? Uh, visited. Visited. That's it. Type. So all you need to know for the past, a simple past tense, that it's uh, an action that happened or started and finished completely in the past. We have two types of verbs, regular verbs, irregular verbs. Regular verbs we add ed to, irregular verbs we change the spelling of the entire word and sometimes we do not change anything in the word, it stays the same. That's all you need to know about the past um, tense. Now let's go to the present tense. Who can read the definition for us? Someone who did not answer, uh, Omar Zidane, read the definition for us. 
present simple. Pre present tense deals with actions that are usually true action. Actions that are habits and facts. Good. Actions that are usually true. Habits, habits that you do it on regular basis or facts that we had and we still have, uh, let's say that are true or not true that we cannot deny. Play. Who can read the keywords for us? Uh, Jenna Bder, can you read the keywords for us? Normally, regularly, often. Yes. Who's singing? Okay, hi Dima. Okay, Jenna Bder, please read the keywords for us. Usually, normally, regularly, regularly, often, frequently, sometimes, rarely, always, never, every day, week, month, year, once a week, twice a month. Okay, so we would say week, month, year. And we say, for example, uh, I, um, I practice swimming on Sundays or on weekends. Uh, we go to London, let's say, uh, every year on um, March, for example. I have karate practice once a week, twice a month, uh, three times a year, whatever. Something that we usually have or we usually do, habits that we do on a regular basis. Like the present yeah, have a simple structure. Yes, Yarayan. I have a question on slide number five. Five. Uh, um, we, it says we usually went, but usually is a key word for the present. Yes, but the entire paragraph is about the past tense. We, we usually did go at that period of time, but we don't do that anymore because the holiday is over. Now, you have to pay attention, Yarayan, to the, the entire structure of the paragraph. If the paragraph was dealing with past tense, then you let's say you overlook words that might uh, imply to present tense. Tamam? Okay. Right. Let's continue. When kunahon present simple structure. Who can read it for us slowly and clearly that we all understand? Uh, can you read these two sentences for me? Rakan. Yes, miss. Hello, Habibi. Hello, read the two sentences for me. For signal subject, we add S, E, S, or I, E, S. Okay, plural. For plural subject, the verb remains the same. Remains the same. Uh, okay, type. I want someone else to read the structure for me, the affirmative, negative, and interrogative uh, structure. Then we will uh, explain everything. But I just need to go through it in reading first. Type someone, I can't remember all the names, but let's go to Masa. Masa, can you read the structure for us? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Affirmative, subject plus verb, add um, E, E, S to the third person person singular plus complement good negative yeah. subject plus auxiliary um, verb auxiliary verb do or does plus not plus verb plus complement it's a little bit complicated but when we exemplify it yani when we like simplify it it will be easy let's go to interrogative yamasa interrogative auxiliary verb do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement Good. Type. In brief, what this slide mean? For singular subjects in the simple present tense, we add S or ES or IES. Now, S in, let's say the word make, it already ends with, it, with an E. So we can't write make and we put another E that make it makeies. So we just add S to it. Sometimes words that ends with ch, sh, uh, x, s, we add es to make it sound more, uh, let's say, uh, simple to us and make it easy for us to pronounce. We add ies if the word ends with y, we take out the y and we add i instead of it and we put es. We all know this rule. Is that correct? But 
The second rule, which is for plural subjects, which is much easier. We don't add anything to the verb. The verb remains the same. We'll give examples now and we'll discuss it. Type. Let's go to the affirmative, negative and interrogative. Affirmative, it means positive, things that actually did happen or is happening or happens now in the case of present simple. Yani, she goes to school every day. Simple, we added ES because the verb ended with O. Uh, it's, it's not gonna be easy to pronounce if we say goes to school. It doesn't make sense. So we had to add ES type. She goes to school every day. If it was plural, they go to school every day. We don't add S or ES or anything. Negative, she doesn't go to school every day or they don't go to school every day. If you remember the girls and the boys, I always told you that the S is connected with the singular. Always the S is connected to the singular. In plur plural, we don't add S. In the interrogative, yani question form, we say, for example, does she go to school every day? We put the do and does, the auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb means do or does, or did. Does she go to school every day? Then singular, hakena, does. If, in the case of plural, we say do. Do they go to school every day? But before I proceed to the next slide, do you have any questions here? Raise your hand if you do. Uh, Jad, do you have a question? Jad? Malim? No. Type Dima, do you have a question? No. Uh, no. Okay. Type Juri. It's confusing because you're raising your hands. Lower your hands if you don't have any questions. Lower, boys and girls, lower your hands if you don't have any questions. Keep them up only if you have a question. Masa. Masa. I forgot, I forgot to lower my hands. Type. Sorry. Forget, uh, lower your hands, please. Unless you have a question. Mira Hamid, do you have a question? I need to bite someone. Type Judy, do you have a question? La Bardo. Tayyip. Rakan, do you have a question? Asil, do you have a question? No? Tayyip. Let's proceed. Let's go to fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb in. Present simple. I see the hands are coming up again. Tayyip. Jad, can you do the first one? Okay. Yell. I go to school. To school every day. Good. I and you, these two pronouns are treated as the plural, uh, let's say, uh, uh, nouns or pronouns, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't say I goes to school every day. The answer is I go to school every day. Great. Number two, water. Uh, yeah. Someone who did not raise his hand. Please, Zed Qreya, is the microphone working now? Yes, teacher. Yalla, Habibi. Water? Water boils. Boils, because water is? Water uh, is countable or uncountable nouns? Uncountable. Uncountable, so treat it as a singular. Water boils at 100 Celsius. Number three, yeah, number three, yeah. The same hands over and over again. I need someone who did not raise his hand. Brimas. Rimas, he? He brushed his teeth. Simple, he brushed, uh, present. He brushes. he brushes his teeth three times a day. Why did you say brushes? Why did you add ES, not S? Because there is an H. Yes, SH. So SH or CH or X or O or S, we add ES to the verb. Good. Mu'in, ya juri. Mu'in? It's negative. Mu'ayin is singular. You add do or does. Judy. Does, does not eat pizza every Friday. Yes, you said does not or doesn't because Mu'ayin is singular. If it was plural, we say don't. Tamam, let's go to sentence number five. Tundus al 
Please mute yourselves. I hear TV or something. Mute yourselves. Bedi sundos. Sundos? Grandma waters the plants every, uh, always. Grandma, singular, waters the plants always. It ends with an R, so we just add simple S to it. Great. Number yeah. six, dad. Ya. Fathi. Who's Fathi? Oh, Adnan. Adnan. Hi, Adnan. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Can you do number six? Yes. Uh, dad prays Jumaa prayer in the mosque every day. Praise. Dad prays. Good. طيب, uh, Adnan. Adnan, yeah. this is the first time you attend with us, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that you started to come. Okay. Um, I need number seven. Let's go to Zayed Juma. Zayed, can you do number seven for me, darling? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Mom bought a new dress every month. Bought in the case of simple past. I want it in the present. Buys. But thank you very much. Mom buys a new dress every month. And you have the keyword here, every month. Type. Let's go to number eight. I need uh, Tasneem. Number eight, please. Boys do not play for Fortnite, Fortnite every, day. every day. This is a very false sentence. Boys don't play Fortnite every day. Yeah, as if, Taban. Okay, so boys is plural, so you did not say doesn't, you said don't. Good. Number nine, ya jud al asmar. You? You speak English perfectly. You did not say speaks because you is treated as the yes. plural. Great. So you speak English perfectly. The last one is someone who did not answer. Joanna. They? They didn't wake up early. Didn't no, in, they the pr in the simple, in the past. I want it in the present. They? Don't. Don't. They don't wake up early every morning. Of course they don't. So let's uh, rephrase with the things that we talked about in the simple present. We said that in the case of singular, we add S, E, S, or I-E-S, it depends on the verb uh, spelling, on the verb structure. Uh, in the plural, we don't add anything. We keep the verb as the same. In interrogative or questions, we put the auxiliary verb, which do, does, uh, at the beginning. Then we continue the sentence as it can. Taib, Jad, do you have something to ask me? Zaid, Zaid, Jum'a, do you have something to ask me? No, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Mashi. Shall we proceed? Type. We can't proceed because, um, I don't know, time flies quickly. Five minutes left for the class. Next class, tomorrow, we'll continue with the past continuous, our progressive. Will present continuous, our present progressive. Type. Uh, let me stop the share. And let me stop.